So let's talk about some sociological explanations for deviance, starting with the structural functional perspective. Now, the structural functionalists, again, believe that any social pattern that exists exists because it has some beneficial consequence for the way society operates. In other words, we need it. So according to the French sociologist Emile Durkheim, we need deviance. It has four very important or essential functions. First, it affirms cultural values and norms. That means that when people are deviant, those of us who aren't feel better about ourselves because we're upholding the values and norms of our society. So if we see someone who's deviant, we might say, well, you know, I'm no perfect angel, but I would have never done what you just did. And by the existence of that deviant person, we feel better about who we are. Secondly, a response to deviance clarifies moral boundaries. What does that mean? It means that we respond to deviance because we want people to know what the boundaries are when it comes to right or wrong. So we want to make examples out of people. That's what we do when we respond to deviance. We want people to know you can do pretty much whatever you want, but if you hurt anybody or if you cross a certain line, you went too far. Third, a response brings people together. So responding to deviance brings people together. And indeed it does. Think about a neighborhood where there's no crime. All of a sudden, people's homes get broken into, cars get stolen, people form a neighborhood watch. In the absence of that deviant act, the neighbors probably would not have come together as a collective unit. Fourth and finally, and this sounds a little bit like uh, social conflict theory, but deviance encourages social change. Sometimes you got to break the rules when the rules aren't fair. A great example of that is the civil rights movement. If the civil rights movement hadn't happened, then African Americans and other people of color would have been discriminated against because there were laws that treated them uh, unfairly. We had separate and unequal treatment according to race. So the civil rights movement was about defying those laws, defying those norms of segregation to change them. So you had to engage in what was called civil disobedience to get the laws to change.